fitting a brand new raw water pump to a Perkins 4108 marine engine. First thing to do is to close the raw water seacock. Okay, so this is an old pump and it's leaking. I'm just going to take off this top hose. Anyway, I'm just going to inspect inside and see what it looks like. There's no water coming out, so it's pretty bad. I'm just going to remove the impeller. There's a little rubber seal there. Be careful not to damage that if you think you might need it in the future. Anyway, now I can put the puller on and pull that out. Okay, that impeller is actually brand new and didn't fix my leaking problem, so anyway, that's why I've decided to change the whole pump. Okay, removing the bottom hose now. There's a little bit of water in there. I'm just going to push that up to back out the way. It's really horrible. Anyway, I'm going to take the pump off this adapter plate here. So we need to make sure we remove the nuts that are attached to the pump there. That's one nut there. There's another nut there, just on the inside. There's two more underneath. Up there. And you can imagine what's on the other side. Okay, seven eighths spinner. All right, turning anti-clockwise. All four of them. There's a washer and a nut on each of them. Okay, it's quite stuck. It's going to bash it a bit with the hammer. Now it's a bit stuck. There's a little clip here that's holding this other pipe. So I've just taken that off. Okay, that's off now. Okay, so in there, that is where the leak was coming. So I could never really get a good seal. And I think it's because one of the seals in there is broken. But anyway, it still turns quite okay. It was pretty good for a long time. Anyway, just clean that up. Perfect. That's what it looks like inside that is the key that turns around the raw water pump. That's the brand new raw water pump. It's very nice. It's very heavy, bronze. I've also got these hose tails. Now if we look at these two pumps side by side, the one on the left has a ring and the one on the right doesn't. The ring is actually still in there. It didn't actually come out. So I spent about 10 minutes trying to figure this out. Bashed it a bit. That didn't work. Okay, so I've also tried these locking pliers and it wasn't really successful on the first go. Anyway, I did manage to get it solved after about 10 minutes and that's pretty much how I did it and that's out now. Probably was panicking for a while. Anyway let's see if we can fit this on. Just have to adjust that slightly so it fits into the key and uh, that's pretty good. Anyway what I've forgotten to do was add the gasket. There's a gasket in the box and there's also this alignment tool for the adapter plate.
If you remove the adapter plate, then you use the alignment tool to just realign it. Okay, take that off. Take out these little red plugs. I don't need those. Okay, now there is glycerin in there already on that impeller, which is ideal because I don't want to take that apart. Anyway, that looks pretty good and clean. I'm going to put the gasket on. Now, I'm not sure which way the gasket's supposed to go, so leave a comment if I've done it wrong. Anyway, I'm going to put some grease in there. I also don't know if that's important, but I'm just doing it anyway. Time to put it on. That is pretty good. Putting the nuts and washers back on. Okay, I've made one mistake there. That little clamp that attaches to that hose that runs behind. I forgot to do that. But anyway, I just fixed it. And now I'm tightening up. Now I'm tightening up a little bit each time in a crisscross kind of pattern, a bit like when you put a wheel on a car. So now for the hose tails. In the box you get this glue. Just going to put a load of that around. That's easy. Very good. Tighten. And clean it. Hoses back on. Seacock open. Now I'm just going to loosen that and there's water coming out. That's good. Time to start it. It's not leaking, it hasn't popped off. And there is plenty of water coming out of the exhaust now. Excellent. That was fitting a brand new raw water pump to a Perkins 4108 marine engine. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe and share.